Hello guys and gals, and welcome back to more Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we got our plot out of our body, finally. Um, and this episode is pretty much the finale. Yeah, there's nothing really else I can do. Um, so yeah, what's this, what's this thing say? Phew, thank god it's out. That's what she said. Anyways, um, yeah, there's really nothing else we can do here. Uh, let's... Fortunately enough for us, um, this last part is really simple and straightforward. What's this thing say? Our mission. The real power of the United States lies in three areas. The Justice Department, the Administrative Bodies, and the Military. In order to take control of these areas, we must influence the minds of the people who advise the President. After this is done, the rest of the departments will quickly fall under our sway. The chance of the United States, If by chance the United States were, able, were to figure out our plan, the damage caused should be minimal. We will still be able to conquer the country as planned in our backup plan. Once we control the country, we will use our, we'll use our international influence to our advantage. The rest of the world will fall swiftly. As already stated, our first plan is, doesn't go as smoothly as expected. We'll proceed with our secondary plan. By sending in our special forces, we will infiltrate the country from within. Fear and chaos will spread through the nation like a virus. It will only be a matter of time before the country loses its stability. And that time, when it's most vulnerable, we will strike. Rejoice, my brethren, the world shall soon be cleansed. I love the super like the villains that like assume that their their way is like the correct way of living. But like it's not. It's kinda of funny actually. Alright. Our last box of the stuff, man. Send the air grenade and some TMP ammo. And this merchant guy here is for no reason. Alright. There's a green herb right here. Well, I might as well take it. Can you uh, I just wanna, I'm curious, can you do this? Oh you can't. Okay, I actually didn't know that. Good enough. Alright, let's get our TMP. Fully upgraded as well. Not fully upgraded, fully loaded, you know what I mean. Alright, let's go. Something's not right. Ashley, you stay here. Ada! <laughs> Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. Uh. Uh. You okay? I've been better. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, I think you know. The American prevailing is a cliché that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of clichés. Ada, stand back. Emergency locking down elevator. All right. First off, a few things to note. One, that was an extremely precise knife throw. If he missed that, a he wouldn't have a knife anymore, which he still has in his pocket, as you can see. And b, a would still be there. And like, <laughs> this is a very cliche movie, by the way. Like, you know, the American prevailing. It's pretty cliche. Also, this final boss. I don't know. Doesn't really seem like a threat. Very threatening final boss. Also, extremely easy. Basically what you have to do is you have to hit the eyes on his leg and you go up here and climb on top of him and you just kind of hit his eye with your knife. Now there's like I think six eyes you can get. Basically all you do is just get, like you hit one, dodge, and you hit again. It's pretty simple. Like honestly I have no, I, there's really not any point to be trouble. Also you can hit, use these things if you want to. It throw girders at him. So that's kind of cool. Sure, whatever. Ow. Do this. And it's like, oh, hello. Boom. And that counts as, like, getting a, a shooting an eye out. You only have to do it, like, I think six times. I'm not sure of that, though. It really depends on how much damage you do. 
Also, if you want to, you can shoot his eyes instead of using your knife. But using your knife is a more epic way, in my opinion. Now, there are two sections to this little area, arena. There's this bridge right here, which you can cross. Or do that, whatever. Oh, God. Oh, God. Climb, 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 please. Please. Thank you. Yeah, it usually happens if you miss it, so... Alright. Also, using a, uh, a explosive barrel will also cause him to get stunned. Oh. So I'm going to be using her after this. Up. This boss is really not that hard. Like, it really isn't. I kind of feel bad because this boss is so easy. So pretty much anything that causes an explosion will knock him down. Bam. But I don't know how this guy, this is supposed to be like an ultimate form. Like, honestly, I don't see this being an ultimate form. I guess I'm just being ignorant. Uh oh. Healing. There we go. Huh. New by like seven of these. There we go. But this is pretty epic, I will admit, because you're killing him with your knife and not like a gun. It's kind of cool. Which it is possible to kill this guy with only your knife. It's like knifing his eye. It's pretty hard though. I've done it before, but it's really hard. Ah. Please. Yeah, there's two girders, so it's good to use. You know, use the one you got. Come at me. That would hurt so much, dude. Like, oh my god. I can't even imagine. Hello. Bam. Love it. Now I'm kind of out of options. Open your eyes, bruh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. I did surprisingly little amount of damage. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was kind of not even a big deal. It's two eyes down. I think, it, I think it's just, I'm not sure. Look how much little ammo I use. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, ammo isn't that big of a problem for this last boss. It's, you're mostly doing a damage with your knife. Okay. Ooh, rocket launcher. Where can I keep this? Hold on, I have to organize. Not a very epic way to finish, but whatever. Up, oh, up. Oh. No. All right. How many is it? One, two, three, seven. There we go. All right, let's go. Ow. Ow. Stop. One last heal. Let's get rid of this sucker. Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Here, catch. Better get a move on. See you around. Very cute. Alright, let's get the jet ski key, which is the last key item. Emergency system has been activated, releasing locks. Alright, now we have to get out of here, but first, before we do that, let's check Sadler. 
A hundred thousand gold. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell are we going to use that for? Well, it's very simple. Um, there's a new game plus in this game, and you'd be using that then, if you want to use it at all. Uh, alright, let's go here. Now, that's two, the two minutes, is, three minutes is very generous. You really don't need that much time. But, I mean, it's, to be fair, you know, you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to, you might go kind of slow, you might get lost, whatever. Leah. We have to get off this island now. It's going to blow any minute. It's going to what? All right, yeah, we have to go. Um, now, there's actually one part here where you actually have to catch Ashley, and honestly, I've sometimes forgotten to catch her before. This long-ass thing. I don't know how you didn't break your legs, but whatever. Yeah, I've actually forgotten to catch her once, and it was kind of funny. How I was like, why isn't the rock going? And I was like, oh, right, I didn't catch her. <laughs> Oopsie. If you go over here, there's a jet ski, which is convenient. Use a jet ski key. Hang on, sweetheart. Now the controls are very simple. Um, left and right to move. If you, if you hold up, it'll accelerate, which is what I'm doing right now. But it may, basically it's like a long, like it's kind of like a you just gotta kind of get out pretty much. That's all there is to it. It's pretty easy, really. But you, if you hit anything, it's an instant kill. Wait! Behind us! I know. Just hold on. Like I said before, if you hit anything, it's an instant kill, so... But they made sure it was pretty easy. Uh, you really... Like, you don't have to actually navigate the whole thing, but you just have to... It, like, it's kind of like on a rail, but you just have to kind of avoid stuff. So... Just kind of go over here. There's the exit! Go! Let's go home. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. And that's Resident Evil 4. Um, probably the longest Resident Evil game, in my opinion, uh, to do casually, that is. But, um, <laughs> it's just kind of funny how, like, I always thought when I was younger, <laughs> when I actually fell out of the boat at the end, I was always like, what if there's, like, sharks in the boat, or, like, in the water that, like, just came up an eater? <laughs> I thought it was, like, the funniest thing ever. But, um, unfortunately, they didn't. I mean, Ashley's fine. Like, to be fair, if I was 16 and in this random place, I'd be scared. I'd be yeah, annoying as her too. I'd be clingy as shit too. But yes, um, there is a special scene at the end of the end of the game that uh, taught you know just is like kind of talking to Hunnigan again after everything happens. I think this scene's actually the credits are actually really sad because it shows what the people were before the Plagas took over. But um, I actually. It makes me, I don't know, it makes me sad because, like, these people were just, like, regular loving people, you know, they're, you know, just having a good old time with their, you know, Spanish, you know, they're, they just a good time. And then Sadler came in and was like, hey, look it, you know, we're gonna be assholes and I'm gonna take you over. See, look it. But, um... I wonder if they're, like, because, I mean, I killed their leaders. Like, everybody that was associated with them, I killed them. So I wonder if, like, they're going to go, like, what happens to the people? Like, they never really kind of explain that. I don't know. 
it's, it's really upsetting because like now you can see like people like going crazy and like killing their kids and stuff like that. You never see any kids in this in this game. Like in the village, you never see any kids, so it's just like really creepy. But um, I'm gonna go. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I'm actually gonna take a break from Resident Evil after this game. I might do something different. That picture was scary as hell, by the way. I don't like it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It probably won't be a horror game, but I'll do something. So, um. But, yeah. Um. I'll let you know. Either on Twitter or I'll, I'll just upload it. Whatever. But, yeah. Um. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next Let's Play. Whatever that may be. Alright? See you guys then. Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's Jack free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty? Story of my life.